Hi there, and welcome to Wakelet. Wakelet is gonna be basically your Pinterest on steroids, where Pinterest is great for images and a couple of things, Wakelet will take you to the next level. Anything that you think you can curate can be done within a Wakelet. If you haven't already, tap sign up for free in the blue, or if you have already an account, you can tap on log in. I highly recommend that you continue with Google, your RISD Google account. Once you log in, you're going to have collections. Collections are all the different ways that you can organize and curate different kinds of things. You'll kind of see yours might be blank and that's okay. Notice here I did something for Grow recently where I can organize everything together. Nearpod tutorials, open house. Yes, you can create a collection for open house. So to get started, you can tap on this blue, create a collection. And from here, you can actually start to give your collection a title, something that's meaningful. So let's say I'm doing a welcome to my class and I'm going to do an activity that's all about you. So right here, I've already created a title and a brief description. So here you'll notice that I can paste any link on the web. So let includes things like, well, YouTube. Let's say I would like students to create maybe a web page for me or something to tell me a little bit more about themselves. So all I need to do is actually copy any link that I have. I can switch back to my Wakelet collection I can right click and then choose paste. And what I love about putting videos within a Wakelet collection is you'll see that it's automatically embedded. And if I hit play, students can actually watch the video within Wakelet. So that does make it a little bit faster. Let's say I'm wanting them to create with Express. So they're probably gonna need the login page. So I can simply copy, come back to my Wakelet collection and paste as I need. You'll also see these three lines here. This allows me to actually organize and rearrange my collection as I need. So obviously this doesn't look great. So if you tap on these three dots, this is where you'll notice you can move things up and down to the bottom, but I prefer the edit icon. Here I can say go to Adobe Express and here I can provide a new description. If I tap on this pencil, I can either upload an image I can even design within Canva. I can choose an animated GIF or I can choose something from Unsplash. So here you can see I've uploaded my own image of Adobe Express so they know what that looks like. Tap on the close button. From here, you can have a bunch of different other options. This allows you to create any text. So maybe I wanna add extra directions. Here, you can also highlight any text and you can give it a different header. Header one will obviously make that a little bit larger. You can also select any text and add a link to it. You can also upload different images from here. So add your own image. You can, again, design with Canva. So I'm gonna upload another image from my computer just so students can see an example of what I'm looking for for this project. So let's say about me express, this is what I would like students to create. So I can go ahead and drop that in and you'll see the image is automatically embedded. So this is something I would want my students to create. Again, tap on those three dots if you wanna move things around. If I tap on the design option here, I can choose a header or cover image. Again, I can upload my own design within Canva, choose an animated or choose from Unsplash. I can choose whether it takes up the full or even just the half. Here, I'm gonna add just a animated GIF that students will see. Again, you can choose whether it takes up full or half. You can even choose a background image. Notice the background image is either something you can upload or you can choose from Unsplash. From here, change the layout. Media is really nice because you're actually gonna see all that interactive element, so that video that's embedded. Compact is just gonna show the title, so it's not really gonna give you a lot of context. Grid view, you'll see things going side by side. Mood board is very, very similar to Pinterest. So it's great when you're just brainstorming different things. And then columns, even better for brainstorming. But for this option, I'm gonna keep media because I would like them to view everything within the collection and not have to go somewhere else. From here, if you tap on your settings, you can allow this collection to be copied. This is great for a template if you'd like to help students get started. And then the share button. From here, you can allow, so anyone with this link can now see the collection. You can keep it public to your profile or private. Here you can choose to copy it, create a QR code to be scannable, embed within your LMS, or if this is something that you're embedding on a website, post to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. 
Collaboration is a big feature within Wakelet, so if you would like others to be able to contribute, this is great for a class brainstorm or maybe for a test review. Students are contributing videos and resources, even within your PLCs. Again, I can either copy a link and send it to a colleague, I can provide a join code, something scannable, classroom, or Teams. Other ways that you can use Wakelet are gonna be over here. So the search feature allows you obviously to search for a Wakelet for inspiration. So if you're looking for something in particular, so maybe I'm looking for chemistry. The explore option allows you to see what everything is available. So look, there's an AI in education, there's a math collection. Bookmarks are incredibly helpful because if you're finding something on the web, so let's say I was watching this YouTube video, but I didn't have Wakelet opened. If you install the Chrome extension, you can actually tap on that W. Notice right here, you can already change the title and you can change the descriptions. I'm not sure which collection to put it to, but I can always tap this option, save to bookmarks. So that is a great kind of temporary holding because you'll see here's all of my bookmarks, including the one that I just added. My favorite thing about bookmarks is those are always accessible within any Wakelet collection. So I can even go back and find ones that I want to save and put into a collection later. Spaces are a great way to share multiple collections in one. So as a campus, we did all of our TCEA reflections within a space. So that was a great way that we could see what everybody was creating and sharing. From here, if you tap your profile, you'll have a couple different options. Classrooms is a great way, if I switch over, you'll now see that instead of spaces, it says classrooms. You can actually create a classroom within Wakelet. It will sync with Google Classroom, Microsoft, or Clever. Here, you can also choose dark mode or light mode, depending whatever you would like. Your public profile is a great place to kind of connect with others. You can follow anybody else within Wakelet. And here you can actually organize all of your collections in a meaningful way by simply tapping add a new section. So you can see all of these I've already organized. Hope you enjoyed Wakelet. Can't wait to see what else you start creating.